Hey everyone, Lumpy here. How y'all doing today? Uh, well, today we have another Walmart cube with two booster packs, a deck, and this awesome storage cube. Um, we got Journey into Nyx on one side, and the strange thing about this is somebody at the store must have shook the crap out of this thing to see what deck was in there. And... Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, I found this buried behind a bunch of, uh, Pokemon stuff and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, so, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, man, somebody hid this for something. And I'm checking out this card in there, and I realize it is an Avalanche Tusker, which, it's only like a 35-cent card, but... Upon closer inspection, when I got home, it's actually a foil card. And I don't think I've ever gotten a foil card in one of these uh, magic cubes. So that must be why somebody hit it. Um, I don't know. It's still only a 65 cent card, but they don't really... I mean, they always take the foils out before they um, put them in these cubes, I guess. So anyway... Um, I'm kind of itching to find out what deck that's from. Um, if y'all have any idea, I believe it was Kanza Tarkir, uh, symbol on there. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll check it out in a minute. Uh, I'll let you know, and if y'all can help me out and tell me what it's from, it would be greatly appreciated. So, let us see. I still love these cases, man. They are so cool. Oh, there's a big scratch on it. I know y'all can't see that, but there's a big scratch going right across the front. Probably from the idiot shaking it. Trying to find out what deck was in there. Anyway... Ooh, that is a, yeah, I couldn't see that in the, in the store, but yeah, that is foil, man. That's why I said I got a flashlight on it well, as soon as I got home and uh, said, wow, that, yeah, they don't normally put foils in these things, but it's a foil rare uh, avalanche tusker. When avalanche tusker attacks, target creature Defending player controls blocks it this combat if able. It's a 6-4 for 5. 2, a forest, an island, and a mountain. And we have the Journey into Nyx, NYX, and Amon Ket. So we'll put those aside for now. And let's get into this deck and see what we got in here. Hey, the little pull tab actually worked the way it was supposed to. <laughs> All right. We have our foil avalanche tusker. And I believe it is the cons of Tarkir symbol. Can y'all see that? Anyway, if you know what, uh, what dual decks or what deck this is, please let me know down in the comments. Um... I'll do a little research and figure it out, but I would appreciate it. All right, I just read what that is. We have Icy Blast, another rare. Um, tap X target creatures. It costs X and an island. It's ferocious. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater, those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. That could be good, some, uh, something good. Uh, Elvish Mystic, two of them. Air of the Wilds has Death Touch. For two, you get a 2-2 two -two with Death Touch. And it has Ferocious. When Air of the Wilds attacks, if you control a creature with power four or greater, Air of the Wilds gets a plus one, plus one until end of turn. And there's two of those. A Runeclaw Bear. 
That's from Magic 15. But for two, you get a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Rune Claw Bear. I'll just two of those. Uh, Ice Feather Aven for two. You get a 2-2 two, two with Flying. And Morph for a three. You can play it as a 2-2 two, two creature face down. When it's turned face up, you may return another target creature to its owner's hand. An Alpine Grizzly. Uh, for three, you get a 4-2. That's pretty good. You got two of those Alpine Grizzlies. A Summit Prowler. For four, you get a Yeti. A 4-3 Yeti. Two of those. A Pine Walker. I guess that's kind of like a conifer strider, but it's a pine walker. Anyway, um, it's a 5-5 five, five for 5 and has morph for 5. You can play it face down as a 2-2. Two, two. If I'm going to play it face down, why don't I just play it as a 5-5? Five, five? Oh, you can play it as a 2-2 two, two for 3. You can pay 3 and then you pay the morph cost to get it flipped over. Anyway... Thundering Giant has haste, a 4-3 for 5. This looks like a pretty good deck, man. Bear's Companion. When Bear's Companion enters the battlefield, put a 4-4 green bear creature token on the battlefield. So for 5, to a forest, an island, and a mountain, you get a 2-2 two, two, and a 4-4. Four, four. Not bad. Glacial Stalker, a 4-5 for 6, has morph. Um, you can play it as a 2-2, two, two, face down for 3, and then for 5 you can flip it over. There's two of those. A Tusked Colostodon. I hope he doesn't give you a colonoscopy, colonoscopy. Because uh, he's a Colostodon, colon, eh, whatever, I messed that joke up. 6-5 six, for 6. A Snowhorn Rider. For six, you get a 5-5 five, five with Trample. Not bad. There's two of those. Wooly Loxodon. An Elephant Warrior. He's pretty badass looking. But he has Morph. You can play him as a 2-2 two, two for three down. Uh, face down. He's a 6-7 six, seven for seven. This looks like a badass deck, man. This is, yeah, there's two of those. This is a powerful deck. I really like it. Frontier Bivouac. Are we into the lands? I think we are. But Frontier Bivouac, um, that's a lot of lands. Enters the battlefield tap, tapped. You can add uh, a forest, island, or mountain to your mana pool. That's pretty cool. One of the three. There's two of those. This feels like pretty thick cards too anyway uh, rugged highlands you gain a life for playing this it comes in the battlefield tap when it enters the battlefield you get a life swift water cliff same thing you gain a life for entering the battlefield and it does come in tapped thornwood falls comes in tapped and you gain a life bunch of forests And Islands, sorry about that. I was trying to see the bottom of the card here. It says uh, copyrighted 2014, I believe. So if that helps at all, um, it can help tell when this... Yeah, they're 2014. It'll help tell us when uh, this deck came out. Ooh, there is more cards back here. I thought that was a lot of, uh, a lot of lands, but... There's our lands. And Stubborn Denial for one. Counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays one. Savage Punch for two. I guess these are our sorcery and instance. For two, target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. If the creature you control gets plus two plus two until end of turn before it fights if you control a creature with power four or greater 
and there's two of those titanic growth it's from magic 15 um for two yeah it's copyrighted 2014 from magic 15 anyway for two uh target creature gets plus four plus four until end of turn yeah man Force away an instant for two. Return target creature to its owner's hand, and it has Ferocious. If you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Lightning Strike. Now we're talking. For two, you deal three damage. Uh, tem Temer Banner. For three, you can add a uh, forest, island, or mountain to your mana pool. You can pay Forest Island and Mountain, tap it, and sacrifice Tamir Banner, and draw a card. There's two of those. Roar of the Challenge. All creatures able to, a, to block target creature this turn do so, and it's ferocious. That creature gains indestructible until end of turn if you control a creature with power four or greater. Yeah, man. So... You turn your guy indestructible, and everybody that can block him blocks him. So everybody's occupied while you pounce with the rest of your guys for three. Pretty good. Dragon Grip. An aura enchantment, and it's an uncommon for three. It has Ferocious. If you control a creature with power four or greater, <clears throat> you may cast Dragon Grip as though it had Flash. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has first strike. Yeah, man. Temir Charn. Temer Charn. Charm. Temer Charm. Uh, for three, a forest island and mountain, you choose one. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. It fights target creature that you don't control. Counter target spell, unless its controller pays three, or creatures with power three or less can't block this turn. And Windstorm. For X and a forest, Windstorm deals damage to each creature with flying. X damage. So, each creature with flying can get pummeled by however many mana you want to put out there. So, if you all know what, uh, what deck this is, where it came from, if it's from dual decks or what, with Avalanche Tusker, a foil Avalanche Tusker, uh, yeah. Let me know down there in the comments. Yeah, I'm going to put him in a sleeve. Just because he's really cool. I know it's not worth much, but I love them foils, and we're going to keep him good. Alrighty. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to bust in that almond cat here. And we have Essence Scatter, Desert Cyrodon, Forsake the Worldly, Seeker of Insight, Honorary Kudu, Miasmic Mummy, A River Serpent, Horror of the Broken Lands, A Desert, Sun Scorched Desert. Naga Vitalist and our uncommons. Lord of the Accursed, a zombie. Other zombies you control get plus one, plus one. And for one and a swamp, tap it. All zombies gain menace until end of turn. It's a two, three for three. Shefet Monitor. Shefe. Chef it. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a lizard. For six, you get a six five. And it has cycling. For four, you can discard this card and draw a card. When you cycle Chef it Monitor, you may search your library for a basic land or desert and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. It doesn't come in tapped, but you just put it on the battlefield. But why would you want to get rid of your six five? Eh, if there's a reason, I guess it's a good card. And Edifice of Authority, an artifact. For one and tap it, target creature can't attack this turn. Put a brick counter on Edifice of Authority. For one and tap it until your next turn, target creature can't attack or block. 
and its activated abilities can't be activated. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters on Edifice of Authority. That's pretty cool. Hazard's Favor is our rare. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may have target creature you control get plus two plus zero and gain haste until end of turn. If you do, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step for three. And a Full Art Mountain and Aven Initiate token. Yeah, man. That seemed like a good uh, good pack to me. I'm digging it. And Journey into NYX. What have we got? Oh, our little anti-theft beeper. I hate these things. Oh, well, it's not coming off, apparently. All right. Magma spray. I'm going to spray you with me magma. Harvest guard. Alcids. Alcids. Golden hind. Returned reveler. Countermand. Pensive Mon minotaur. A pensive minotaur. Font of air. Ire. Ear. Blood crazed hoplite. He's a blood-crazed hophead, he is. Oresco's Swift Claw. Warwing Siren. Wildfire Serbius. Cerberus. Wow, that's the beginning of our uncommons. Yes, it is. Wildfire Cerberus is a hound for seven monstrosity one. If this creature isn't monstrous, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it and it becomes monstrous. It's a 4-3 for 5. Colossal Heroics. An instant for 3. Strive. Colossal Heroics cost 2 more to cast for each target beyond the first. Any number of target creatures get plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn and untap those creatures. That could be pretty useful. Leonin Iconclast. Iconclast. Awesome artwork. Uh, Cat Monk. He's heroic. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Leonin Icon class, destroy target enchantment creature and opponent controls. A 3 2 for 4. And our rare is Set Tessin ta Tactics. Set Set Tessin. Anyway, instant strive. Set Tessin Tactics cost. Forest more to cast reach target beyond the first until end of turn any number of target creatures each get plus one plus one and gains tap it this creature fights another target creature yeah man sorry about that I'm holding it here off the screen um anyway we got an island and all things magic in one place magic the gathering dot com Anyway, give us a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Please let me know if you know where this uh, where this deck came from. I'm digging it. It's a pretty solid deck. And uh, yeah, don't forget when we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away the uh, four decks of Odyssey, the liftoff pressure cooker. Trouncematic and one two punch. There we go. Giving away those four decks as soon as we get to a thousand subscribers. So y'all have a great day. Try anything once, twice if you like it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Lumpy out.